So today I am going to be cleaning the kids' stuff. This is already washed, just put in here. Um, and I gotta rinse the stuff off, so wash, rinse, and then I got a towel behind me. Everything kitchen needs to be cleaned all the way down this sink. And they have their little doors and stuff. So I made the flappers. These are the dressings, and this is my husband's plate, and I gotta make Brittany some. I done ate some, but just what it look like dressed up. Okay, let's try something else. Uh, what are your favorite things to do? <laughs> 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 you bit my nose. Yeah, me, me. Give me some beef. Stop it. You're so sweet. Give me beef. Give me beef. part of the video thank you for watching please make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and i will be definitely posting more videos but for this part of the video i wanted to speak on a, a small testimony of mine and how the devil was trying to come against me and i just immediately became negative i um and I had to speak it to my husband. Like when I started getting these negative thoughts, intrusive thoughts, um, I have to give it to my husband sometimes right away because, well, I pray over it, but um, I give it to my husband like to have somebody to talk to, to know what I'm struggling with and dealing with. So basically, let's just get right into it. So I was getting a little weary um, uh, in my, just in my well doing and serving my family and and I was just starting to feel like man I have a lot on my shoulders I have a lot on my plate and I just felt like are they taking me for granted are they not appreciative for what I'm doing I got this one doing this this one doing that and my husband he's just kind of you know kind of marathon in it like this is an everyday thing you know life with two kids is kind of a lot so he just kind of at his pace right so in his pace wasn't my my way of doing things in the moment and i'd be honest and admit that um sometimes that caught creates impatience in me and it's not him i have to adjust myself which god is dealing with me with but sometimes us moms we get weak we get weary we we fall short because we just feel unappreciated we feel like a lot is on our load and who has our back and this, that, and the third. So my husband said to me um, a couple days ago, he was like, uh, maybe this was about a week ago. Don't get my timing on it. But he was like, um, why don't you go into a fast? I forgot what happened. But he said, why don't you go into a fast? And I thought to myself, like, this was the devil. Why he telling you to go into a fast? Why don't he fast, right? And we already had a conversation about the fasting, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, and I know it's the devil. When it's negative, when it's negative, it comes from the devil. God get thoughts of power. And so this is how I knew it was the devil, right? Attacking my mind, attacking my thoughts. And I had to adjust myself. Like, I had to stop thinking like, okay, I can't get weary. I can't get weak. I can't fret because this is what I'm made to do. A wife and a mom, it comes with a lot of responsibility. This generation will make it look like it's glamor, glitz, this, that, and the third. We have a lot of days where we're overwhelmed. We have a lot of days where we're tired, where we're struggling, where we're exhausted, where there's a lot going on and you can't give up. That's the fight. But a Proverbs 31 woman in verse 6 talks about how um, she willingly, willingly 
works with her hands for her family. It talks about it. And I knew as I'm sitting there and getting weary, um, and I'm kind of like soaking in my thoughts, I'm still kind of letting it go. This is what my daughter gave me. She gave me two of them, but these are one of the um one of the ones that she gave me. Uh-oh. She gave me this, and it says servant. And these are the Bible verses. And I literally was like, glory be to God, because I'm like, God, you know what I'm dealing with right now. And he always, there's a blessing in every struggle. If you can wrap your mind around it, it's a blessing in every struggle. And I made that a habit to know God and to know his ways. John 13, 1 through 15, it speaks about how Jesus knew he was getting ready to lead his earth, right? And as he was getting ready to lead the earth, he washed his disciples' feet. That is so humbling. That's humble. You talk about something like preparing meals, changing diapers, um, the list literally goes on and on. I have a daughter. If y'all don't know, I haven't spoke on it. I will make another separate video about this because a lot of people don't know the struggles that I go with my one-year-old. It's a lot. She's very, I have to be hands-on all the time because she has asthma. She has GERD. And I'm constantly having to be on top of her and give her this, give her that. And certain things, you know, make, make her feel sick. My other one, she's always sick. She's... It's a lot. So some days, literally, the, the greater the opposition, the greater the glory, okay? So I had to remember these things. I have to remember these things. And for any moms that are going through something and you think to yourself, man, this is hard. I want to give up today. This is where you find strength. You hold fast. A wife is a servant, <laughs> I'm sorry to let y'all know. A wife is a servant. A mom is a servant. We have to serve. And honestly, in Proverbs 31 woman talks about the woman. She's being a servant for her family. She prepares meals. Her husband trusts in her. She has a lot of duties. Read up on the Proverbs 31 woman and you will see verses 10 through the end. You will see what proverbs 31 woman is about because listen i had to go and literally dig deep and deep and deep into these scriptures and it was a word stirring up in my belly just stirring up and i know i have to speak it out i have to speak it out i've seen actually a couple posts on facebook where mom's talking about their jaws being hard and um I honestly, it was so heartfelt. Like I, I, I felt for them because I understand, like I know in that alone, even sometimes being that single mom, like you have to bear a lot. It's a lot on your plate, but just know that you are a servant. You stay diligent. It doesn't say in a Proverbs 31 woman that she has a bad attitude. She's negative, this, that, and the third. No, but you will have oppositions. You will have a lot of pain some days you know, having to serve. With me personally, my pain, my afflictions that I have to bear is that seeing my daughter struggle, both of them, seeing them struggle. And sometimes not having them healed, a microwave generation, having them healed right instantly. You know, I believe God can work miracles. I believe that he's a healer. And sometimes not seeing that, that instant, having that instant gratification. I, I know that it's a process, but some days I get weary. I get weak. I, I try not to faint in my good doing, but sometimes I do. And, you know, just be sure that the Bible says all things work together for the good of those that love him. And just know it doesn't say that it's going to feel good all things work together they're gonna feel good no 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 it don't say that it's is there is there is gonna be struggle in fact god loves us he literally will take you through the fire and if you can weak weary pray fast humble yourselves and and know that the, the job the title what you have to do as a mom as a wife know that it comes with a lot and 
God will strengthen you. And the greater the opposition, the greater the fight. Sometimes the fight is here. Sometimes the fight is deep within, you know. It's not physicalities all the time. Mine is both. It's coming. But I have to be ready. I cannot dwell on it too much. I have to stay in my word. I have to pray. I do have to fast. And let me tell you, it is a struggle. But I love God and I have to stay the course. Listen, so one more thing before I let y'all go. I'm going to tell y'all, if y'all made it to the end, hope you be blessed. Hope you be blessed by this. I pray you are blessed. So I um, had a dream that I was... I don't know if I was laying down. No, 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 no. I wasn't. I was laying on my couch. That's why it felt. I was laying on the edge of the couch right behind me. And I had fell asleep. Me and my husband fell asleep. We was watching a movie. So, um, I suddenly woke up. My foot was hanging off the couch. And in the dream, my daughter, Brianna, was taking me to the bathroom. And all of a sudden, she says, Mommy, look. And she points down at my feet. And when she points down at my feet, instantly, as I'm getting ready to make connection with my foot, looking down, I get bit. She was telling me it was a rat. So a rat bit my foot. I went and looked it up. I looked it up. It was nothing good. Nothing good. And honestly, I kind of strayed away from trying to look it up because i prayed over it i asked god i wanted to hear from him first but something in my spirit i believe it was god kept telling me to go look it up and sure enough i didn't have to look i didn't have to dig too deep to find the meaning of this i found um an evangelist that began to break down dreams about rats on youtube and they told me exactly the meaning and i might put it up on the screen for y'all so y'all can see but i instantly had to i had to get in, in faster mode like my husband had told me he told me prior to fast and i had the nerve to think in my mind that was the adversary the adversary had me thinking why don't he fast why don't he do it it's his, it's his duty as well, you know, and me puffing up on the inside. And I literally was humbled as I came out of my fast. And I'm so grateful that I'm here with him because that's where it all starts. That's where it begins. That's how you grow is in here. When you, you listen to him, you follow his word. And sometimes, see, I'm used to, the hearing voices and having to try to discern whether or not it's God or this. I try to dissect it. But when it came from my husband, it wasn't familiar because we think right away this person is, this, that, this, that, that, whatever. And I just didn't take heed to it. But I should have taken heed to it. And it was a lesson learned. It was a blessing inside of it inside of my struggle because I got to see something. It made me more hungry and thirsty for the Lord. So I surmise to y'all to pray fast and know that God chooses you. If you are serving, trust me, we glitz and glamorize being a wife. We glitz and glamorize being a mom. We glitz and glamorize, you know, our titles and stuff. But God looks within and he's doing something in your life. Do not give up. Don't get weary. Know that God is working. And may y'all be blessed. Please be blessed. I pray that y'all made it to the end. Make sure y'all again like, comment, and subscribe. And may the Lord be with you. Peace be still. Peace be with you. And seek and you shall find. I promise you. Be hungry for him. Right now, we got so many people that are literally thirsty, hungry for in the spirit. And we got people that are clinging on to crystals and all of these rituals and energies. And I'm not knocking nobody. I'm not judging nobody. But cling to the Lord. Taste and see that he is good. Taste and see. I, 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 I surmise you to try. See him. Seek him. You know? And y'all make sure y'all be blessed. 
y'all be a blessing to others make sure y'all help others out be a servant the servant also gives they help out other people not just within the family but make sure y'all read that proverbs 31 it, it, it talks about it but you know um be blessed be a blessing and y'all govern yourselves accordingly and i will see y'all in the next video peace out